the chair and I'm back again. Finally, I can say that I'm happy to be back again. I go around a couple of months and then I post on a regular basis and then I disappear. It's always kind of some work or the other and I go like, I'm back again. So my last video was on magical readathon TBR that I posted. From that, we started reading the quarter and I'm reading it with uh, two of my bookstagram friends. One is Momo Sapien. I always end up pronouncing her uh, handle name wrong. I guess I'll link her um, Instagram handle in the description box below. Along with Anukriti from, from Journal of a Reader. I hope I got it right. Also, um, I think I'm starting with um, The Mime Order. So I'm reading a couple of books together in a way. I am currently reading three books all together. So it's a little bit more tiring than I expected it will be because I have already picked a five book like I have to, that's the way I have. I can get onto my order job description, but yeah. Along with that, I have three more books that I want to read because of both the book clubs I'm participating in. I have already read The Court of Owls, so I'm pretty much going good. So I'll just get over with my rambling and I'll just tell you guys what I'm going to be talking about today. So today I just want to talk about the nonfiction books that I have read in the past couple of months and I've really loved reading it. Okay, I'm more into um, non-fictions now a lot which I never expected. I'll be in my interest in terms of genre interest has kind of shifted from young adult um, fantasy fiction to more towards literary and non-fiction sort. Although I love YA and whenever I need to just go and lighten my mi mind I end up picking up YA and that's like the thing for me. So there are these four books that I've really enjoyed reading in the past couple of months and especially out of them, one is my all-time favorite. I can't even explain how much I've loved this book and I think because of that, I've started loving non-fiction all the more, especially memoirs. Without much further ado, let's get on with the video. So the ever first book that I read that made me fall in love with non-fiction is Me by Elton John. So this one released last year and I read it instantly the minute I picked it up and I was so in love. You would expect that, okay, it is a non-fiction, it is a memoir, it is an autobiography and you start reading and the first page it hooks you on. It is so weird. It is like his life is something else altogether. I mean, you start and you get to know so much about him. I wasn't really that big a fan of Elton John. I used to love his music, but not much. I'm like, I have always loved Sacrifice and I knew that he was a big part in the Lion King movie, but I didn't really know about the in-depth life about him. That was one part. And secondly, the more I started reading, the more I could relate all the more when it comes to Queens and Beatles. I used to love them, still do. So that's one thing about this. And the minute you start reading and you get these tiny little clipping of images, you know, okay, his life was astonishing. The best part is like he talks so openly about his life, about his upbringing, about whatever happened in his entire career journey or you just, anything and everything is like upfront, he's blunt and he's honest about his entire thing and that actually makes you love him all the more this has been written in literally a lyrical form and like you you know why this guy is such an amazing songwriter you just like go on it's like in a single flow so it's like very difficult for you to put it down then i don't know whether i am eligible to give it any rating because i will definitely be giving it more than five stars so it's like one of my all-time favorite and i end up telling everybody who is there who loves such memoirs to pick it up because it's really important. It's It just gives you a lot to think about. Then the second book that really helped me out, Radical Candor by Kim Scott. You can see I have a couple of bullet points. You are a startup owner or you have a business or like you want to go into this thing or you are working in a multinational co cooperation and you want to understand where you're going wrong or maybe you want to get a good amount of promotion but things are not falling into place or maybe you have too much to think about but you're not being able to focus this is where it comes this one basically talks about how to make the perfect decision what all steps to take where all to go and how to build your life in a better manner like be it work or be it your personal life or be it anything it just helps you in that a lot the best thing is like it has these brilliant examples be it email examples or be it little charts that help you to understand things all the more like i don't know if you can just 
look into it. So for me, I know I have a hard time in saying no. If somebody's asking me to do one particular work, I'll end up saying yes instantly without even understanding the load of work I already have. So this one actually helps you a lot in that. And there are like a couple of small tiny exercises that not really exercises, but something that you can think about and implement in your life. I'm going to give it a 4.5 out of 5. So when I was interning with Bloomsbury, one thing that I really liked and I remember there was a stack of proof copies of this particular book and I just scrolled through it because I was working on that particular one, creating some contents and some digital promotion ideas and things like such. What really, I got stuck because I started reading a couple of chapters because I wanted to get an idea of the book. I couldn't stop and it just went on and on and on and I was I was crying, literally when I was working I was crying because it was just so personal. So the book that I'm talking about is To Obama with Love, Joy, Hate and Despair by Jean Murray Lass. So this book is a compilation of all the letters he received during his presidency. I, it's like starting from the age group of six, you'll find letters and it is so beautiful and so heartfelt. He has received this, these letters and he has replied back and they were so cheerful replies. Just literally all the handwritten letters that he received from um, little kids and everywhere. At times you don't even find words to explain how you exactly feel. And when you start reading this particular book, you go through these letters and you understand that how personal they are, but how much like how much they believed in him and what all they expected and what all they received and how encouraging he was he is and it's just so moving it's like so encouraging i can say, i'll say that this is more personal to me than um telling you about what exactly it is it, uh, what exactly the book talks about the best thing i would suggest is just pick it up if you like non-fiction, just pick this one up because literally this one and Elton's book is something that should be there on your bookshelf forever. I don't want to give any rating to this because it's like too personal to give any ratings to. And the last book that I would really like to talk about is Dara Shuko by Avik Chanda. This book was sent to me by Harper Collins, I think a couple of months back and I started reading it. What I really liked about this book was um, being a history student, I have always attracted such stories. So the best part about this one is like the intense detailing. Like it has been done very nicely. It doesn't give you that non-fiction feel. The thing is, it's been written in a very easy read manner. So that's like really good for any any reader or like every reader, even though if you're not, but you like history or like you like talking or reading about historical things. So this is something that I would really recommend. So you have these beautiful illustrations that give you a little more in-depth idea. So yeah, I'm definitely giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars. And I think this is something that you should really like and you should really read, especially if you're a history student or especially if you love talking about history or things around that. So yeah. So these were my four um, non-fiction books I have really enjoyed reading in the past couple of months and I would really encourage you all to go take a, give it a try, maybe read one and then just see. I would really ask you to pick a copy of Elton and also to love the mama and because these two are definitely my go-to pick. If you have or if you think there are such books or like similar sort of a book that I might be interested in. Leave it in the section, comment section below so I'll be able to like go through it and like just see which one I like. Thank you guys for watching this video and yeah, I hope you liked it. If you did, please do like and subscribe. So yeah, um, I'll be back again with another video soon. Till then, bye-bye.